Hey guys, today we have the latest Samsung drive to review. It is the 990 Pro PCIe Gen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD. If you're considering purchasing a solid state drive and unsure whether to choose the new 990 model or previous generation 980, then you'll definitely want to stick around for this one. First, let's do a proper unboxing. Okay, now that the detailed unboxing is done, I can guide you through the specs. The Samsung 990 Pro is an upgrade to already a very fast 980 Pro drive from a few years ago. 990 Pro has read and write speeds of 7450 megabytes per second and 6900 megabytes per second respectively, which is very fast. It also comes in capacities of up to 2TB currently and Samsung promised us the long awaited 4TB version in 2023 so you'll have plenty of space to keep all the important files and programs. When it comes to price, the 990 Pro is definitely on the high end of the spectrum. However, considering its impressive specs and performance, it may be worth the investment for power users and professionals who need the fastest and most reliable storage possible. Let's dig deeper and see what differences actually are. The 2TB version of the new drive has significantly faster maximum sequential speed and write speeds, with 38% faster write speed in particular. In addition, the new drive has significantly higher random write IOPS at the Q depth of 1 and higher random read and write IOPS at Q depth of 32. These improved performance metrics can have a number of benefits for the users. For example, faster sequential read and write speeds allow for faster transfer of large files such as high definition video or large datasets. This can be especially useful for professionals working with large files on a regular basis. Similarly, Higher random write IOPS can allow for faster write speeds when working with smaller files and performing tasks such as saving documents or downloading a file. Higher random read and write IOPS at QDEP of 32 can also improve overall performance of the drive, especially when working with multiple tasks and applications at the same time. Overall, the improved performance of the new drive can lead to more efficient and smoother experience for the users. But this is on paper. Let's put them head to head and see which one actually performs better. The first test is within Samsung's own Magician software, which by the way prompted me and helped me update firmware on the 980 Pro drive. If you own a Samsung drive, it may be worth checking if you haven't let they do. As far as performance benchmarks, we got over 1GB per second faster write speeds and a way higher random read and write IOPS. When we go through the software, there are a few dials you can tweak to get a bit more performance out of either one of these drives but we left ours in standard mode as this is most likely where people will leave it on. The other things that you can toggle are trim and over provisioning. I would personally keep trim on all the time. Let's move to a more detailed test. Also, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. In the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark test, the Samsung 980 Pro and 980 Pro were compared in terms of their read and write speeds, as well as several other parameters. In peak performance test, the 990 Pro has a higher write speed compared to the 980 Pro with a difference of over 1GB or about 28% faster. In the mixed test, the 990 Pro also had a higher write speed compared to the 980 Pro, with a difference of nearly 30%. However, when the benchmark test was run using the real-world test presets, the results were slightly different. The 990 Pro still had a higher write speed compared to the 980 Pro, with a difference of about 1.1GB per second and about 11% higher IOPS. The 990 Pro also had lower latency compared to the 980 Pro, with a difference of about 10%. To verify these results, we also ran ATTO disk benchmark and saw similar performance delta. While the old drive was peaking at 5.39 GB per second write speeds and 6.45 GB per second read speed, depending on IO size, the new drive hits 6 GB per second write and 6.16 GB per second read. What is interesting in this example, the new drive actually has lower read speed than advertised. As a reminder, the advertised speed was 7.45 GB per second. We re-ran this test and found that the results didn't actually change. Overall, these results suggest that 990 Pro has faster write speeds and lower latency compared to the 980 Pro in both peak performance and real-world conditions. This could make the 990 Pro a better choice for certain tasks that involve writing large amounts of data. In the final test, we filled the drive from empty to full and then read the file to verify its contents in the continuous H2 test. This resulted in a slightly faster write speed of about 8% and similar read speeds. While this did shave off about 1.5 minutes in this particular workload, whether or not this is worth it depends on your needs, which leads us well to the conclusion. Given the choice, which one of these drives should you actually get? 
The answer is actually not that simple. Depending on where you are located, you may not see a significant difference in price between the old and the new drive. For most users, the slight improvement in performance will likely be unnoticeable, and any saved money would be better spent on other PC components or saved for future use. On the other hand, if you're running a business that frequently handles large amounts of data, this upgrade may help you save time, which would potentially offset the cost of an upgrade over time. Even just saving a few seconds here and there could potentially be worthwhile. Since this is a pro drive, it also comes with 5 year warranty and Samsung raised these drives for 1200 TBW. Well, our 980 pro drive here is actually gone way past that at almost double. As you can see here, it is still performing really well. Also, the new 990 pro will finally have a 4 terabyte version, which I can't wait to check out in the future. Let me know in the comments below what size of drive you're currently using and plan to use in the near future. Also, if you want to check out any of the items covered in the video, the links are in the description below. I hope you found this useful, don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.